Good evening and welcome back once again. So this week is the final fixture before we have a four week um, mid-season break, which is the transfer window that we're really looking forward to. Now before that we've got this quarter final first leg against CSK in Moscow. If you watched the, the last match, um, we actually won 3-0, pretty convincing. Uh, I think they have got a, a double against Dynamo Kiev. But I would say that I don't think Liao and Izak are on the best of form, especially Izak. Need to get a few more goals from him. Um, just the past couple of matches, he hasn't been playing great. But let's jump into the lineup and, and see who we're going to start this week. Okay, so this is what it's looking like for this game. We've actually got Trippier and Lewis coming in at uh, the wing max. We've got Brian Hill coming in. He deserves a start again, I think. And Bellingham fitting into that central attack midfielder role, which I think he's been playing pretty well at. Um, so we'll see how we get on today. So here we go. Let's uh, see how we get on. Now, a bit of confession to make. I did start this match before. I only played a tiny bit and it was still nil-nil. But it was super laggy, so I've decided to, to restart it. Um, there was actually one bit where I made an attack, passed the ball across the box, um, and the game literally froze for like about two or three seconds, I think. Um, and when it came back on, I had basically almost like an open goal um, and skied it over because I didn't know where the ball was or anything. Um, played a little bit further on and it was just really laggy. So I've. Um, oh, hang on, we could be in here. Liao, oh nearly. Um, what I've done is I've restarted OBS, I've restarted the game completely, and that's a poor pass. Um, with the hope that I will help. I have been playing a few games in a row, so maybe it was just, yeah, needed a bit of a, a bit of a break. And somehow that's a free kick. Not sure how they had the ball anyway, but. Um, couldn't see any foul committed there. Oh, that's a terrible ball. It was such an easy pass there. Oh, here we go though. Liao's in. Oh, powerful pass. And Isaac. Oh, that's... Well, that's lucky for us. Not so lucky for them. Fire the ball across. Defending calamities. Yeah, just bouncing off defenders. Oh dear. Not one that um, they'll want to see again. You know, sometimes you deserve a bit of luck. I don't think I've really had that much luck. Um, oh, hang on. Oh no, that's a terrible ball. I was just trying to play the loft, the through ball, but more like over the top, not forward. Um, right idea, but poorly executed, that was just down to me. Oh, nice work, and then I just played a really poor pass. It's not really what I wanted to do there, but it's it's ended up safe. Good work from Bellingham to get that back. Oh, lovely pass to Liao. Um, what happened there? Is that a corner? Yep. Yeah, I'm not really 100% sure what happened there. Um, nearly trickled. That's a penalty. It's got to be. That's a horrendous tackle from behind. It's been a while since we've had a penalty. Um, Isaac with a chance for two. Gonna go bottom left. And scores. Nice. Very nice. Well, that'll get his confidence back up a little bit. He's been, like I say, he hasn't been playing the best in the past few matches. Um, not really sure I want to see replay of the penalty, but we'll watch it anyway. But just over 
halfway through the first half. Um, 2 0, look uncomfortable. A little bit of luck and then a penalty. Don't tend to get these things normally, um, so I'll certainly take it. I mean, that first call was just a terrible defending calamity. Um, second was 100% nailed on penalty, so it wasn't like we got a, a dodgy call or anything. Isaac on the wing now. That's a nice attempt at a back here, but was that really the right decision? I'm not sure. Is that a free kick? It certainly is. Is that going to be a yellow? Nope. Okay. Got to wave that one. Not a great effort. I'm not going to watch the replay of that. It was like miles over. Oh, that was a lovely pass to Leon. Just didn't quite fall for him. I thought that first touch from Trippier just took it the wrong way um, Isaac Liao what is that That's on goal keep her on goal uh, this, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on in this game I'm getting all the luck in one game um, Ken it's just all sorts going on in defence there Trouble is, I'm getting all this. I, I know this happened a while back. I think in the uh, last season in Division Two, there was one specific game where I just got loads of luck and like really weird defensive things going on and everything going my way. Um, and then every other game of the season, I didn't get any other good luck. Um, it's so odd. Oh, I thought that was in. I really thought that was in there. That would have been a spectacular finish from that angle. Oh, it's just over. Oh, that would have been for the hat trick as well. Good interception there. Not sure who that was to. God, it's all gone. I don't. He just gets a warning. But I think that'll be half time. I mean, you can't say anything bad about 3 0. And Isaac could be in here. Not. That's a foul, no? No? Good tackle, I'm guessing. There it is, half time. We'll jump straight back into the second half. Not too much to say. It was just. <laughs> well, lots to say, but just. Lots of weird stuff going on. I mean, defensive mix-up, uh, then a penalty for a really bad tackle, and then an own goal. I just, you know, they're, they're certainly not having a good game. Um, Nice ball out to Brian Hill. Oh, just kills it wide. I had to sort of cut back in a bit, otherwise I didn't have the angle. Oh, I just couldn't bend it enough. Nice play, though. Nice play. No, no, no. It's not who I was trying to pass to. Um, I was actually trying to play it up to Isaac, but never mind. Great tackle from Declan Weiss, and we'll get the throw because it came off the uh, their play last.
Botman having a charge up the pitch there. He's still going by the looks of it. Isaac, no, couldn't keep that down. It was just a bit too loopy, that ball. Isaac for the hat trick. Oh, he just over hit it. Over. Oh, the touch was just way too heavy. I think I accidentally double tapped the, uh, the sprint button. I think that's what happened. Um, which causes you to sort of knock it on. Good goalkeeper and brought him out there. We'll make some substitutions the next time the ball goes out. Nice tackle from Bellingham there. Somehow he manages to keep the ball. I'm not sure how. Brian Hill now. Now he needs Isaac to make a good run. We could go all the way. Oh, nearly all the way. We'll make a substitution. So we're actually going to bring on Anderson, Willock and Rayner and take off Brian Hill. Isaac and Declan Rice. St. Maximum being pushed up, Bellingham being pushed back a bit. Just thought Anderson deserves some game time. He hasn't had any for a long while. Um, I'm hoping that we can get an offer for a loan out. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Unfortunately, you can't put players up for loan. You just have to put them up for transfer and hope that someone comes in and offers to loan them. Um, but they could equally come in for a, a full transfer. Um, so we'll see what offers we may get in for a number of our players. Hopefully we get some. You know, I don't want any for the, the regulars. But for the likes of, um, you know, Wilson, uh, Frazier, I think, still in the books. Oh, nice finish. Brought out the keeper, I'm not sure I should have. Gonna skip that. Shouldn't have skipped it really, but poor defending. Oh, a lovely ball, but I say Maximus should have really got onto that. It's a good ball. Now Trippier. Good tackle. Side. I didn't hear the whistle there. It's going to take a while to uh, say it was offside. Oh, lovely ball through to set maximum, and there it is. There's four. Lovely flow and move. Liao with the assist. First touch is just lovely from St. Maximum. But the weight of the pass was the key there. because I, Isaac's got such raw talent um, but he's going to have to improve in, in finishing overall and maybe touch and things like that Anderson Liao ah, I thought Anderson was going to get a goal there just wouldn't sit properly nice header from Bellingham there that's a poor pass should have played it short, really. Willock. Now it goes out. Rainer. Oh, absolutely sky that one. We might get one more chance. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Let's just hope we don't let any more goals in. Disappointed enough with that one. But here's St. Maximum. Lovely ball. Ah, oh, try to chip it. It's just gone wide there. 
wasn't on target. And that's a foul, apparently. I didn't think it was. That's that's not who I was actually going for. And that's a foul as well, apparently. That should be it for the match. Or not. No, it will be now. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. 4-1. Good result in the end. Poor goal will let in, but you know, you're gonna get let them you're gonna let goals in sometimes and you've just gotta take that on the chin. Um at the end of the day, you know, winning by three goals, another three points, we're top of the league. He's like man of match, not a surprise, you know, with the two goals that he got. Brian Hill 5.5, I thought he played pretty well. Strange one. And the subs did a decent enough job. I thought Anderson looked quite lively. So, just a bit of good news. We put in an offer for Donnarumma, and we did actually receive some offers for Bellingham and Liao, multiple for both, actually, um, which we've declined. But we've actually been successful for Donnarumma to be our, well, say second choice keeper. He could be pushing for that number one spot. And it looks like we've got some offers in for a number of our players as well. So I'll update if there's any further headway with any people being sold or loaned or anything like that. And just to confirm that's the transfer window open, I'll just quickly show you what sort of changes we're looking at. So we've got Nick Pope and goal still, but we've got Donnarumma as potential rival for number one. Okay, and just a bit further update in terms of transfers. We actually put in a bid for Delict from Juventus. I think he's currently out, isn't it? And it's been successful. You know, we did want a third centre-back. We got some offers in for Target and Wilson. And like I've said previously, Wilson hasn't been getting games. Neither has Target, apart from, I think, one match he had this season. And he is our third choice left-back. We've declined offers for Almiron. It was like, it was a loan, randomly. A loan offer for Almiron. If, it, if that was for Anderson, I would have accepted it. Anderson was some pretty low offers. I thought about letting him go, but it was for such a small amount, around about 2,000. He's not one that's going to start matches now, but if we can get him out on loan and get him improving a bit, he's going to be one for the future. Um, unless someone puts in a ridiculous offer for him, I'm not going to let him go. So yeah, some, some good news on that one. We'll finish the transfer window and I'll update you before we end this video. And if we just have a look, we actually did get a loan offer in for Anderson, which we've accepted. We did actually, we did actually get two full transfers for Anderson as well, and they were much improved. They were just on the low 4,000 mark like 4,200 roughly, somewhere like that, from two different clubs. Again, not enough to persuade me to, to let him go, but he's been loaned out for the remaining of the season. He wasn't going to get a game anyway. And we also got an offer in for Chris Wood. Funny enough, we actually got two offers in for him as well. One was a player swap, and it was for a 24-year-old attack midfielder called Wind. Some decent stats on him, but we've already got too many players in that position. Didn't look like an outstanding player, like pretty good but we got another full transfer offer which we've accepted so we've got a nice tidy little sum of 4,800 from that loan and the full transfer and we've trimmed down our squad a little bit which will help with um, the squad salary as well and just to confirm that's the transfer window open I'll just quickly show you what sort of changes we're looking at so we've got Nick Pope and goal still but we've got Donnarumma as potential rival for number one we are going to go with Delict starting simply because we're currently playing two left footers, um, which isn't too much of a problem. But you know, going to put Delict at that right hand side of the centre back, and then it's going to be a battle between Guardiol and Botman. Currently gone with Guardiol, um, just because I think he's probably slightly the better player. Destin Davies is the wing backs. Declan Rice is defensive midfielder. We have changed the natural starting lineup to be Brian Hill on the right, St Maximum on the left and Bellingham as the attacking midfielder in the centre position with Liao and Isaac up front. We've changed some of the squad numbers as well which I've said would do. Again some of those may change and we've got the likes of Donnarumma to come on, Botman, Lascelles, Trippier Lewis, you've got another, you know, that's another good back four that you could play. Gumeresh, Reina, Almiron, Joel Layton and Willock to potentially come on. We do really need a striker, I think. Didn't have enough money to go out and get a 
you know, another striker, really. But we've got cover, you know, the likes of St. Maximin, Almiron can even play up front, Anderson's out on loan, and the likes of Carius and Fraser are pretty much surplus to requirements, but no offers in for them uh, during the transfer window. But that's it for this week. I thought we might as well do the transfer window after that match. It certainly improved the squad and trimmed it down a little bit as well. But thank you very much for joining. Please leave a like and a comment if you can. And if you do enjoy, enjoy keeping up to date with the series, please subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos on there. It's not just Pairs 6. There's some PGA Tour 2K23. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of other games up and coming as well. But thank you very much for joining. And I'll speak to you all soon.